In this unit, we will be dealing with systems of two equations with two unknowns. A solution of a system of equations is where the two equations intersect. In example one here, we're just going to look at the different types of solutions that we can get. The first one is the solution of systems of two linear equations, so two lines that are intersecting. Our first choice is that we could have one solution, which Alex calls consistent independence. So these terms here in the parentheses are what you're going to refer to when you're looking at Alex. So one solution is consistent independent, and that means you will have two lines that are intersecting at just one point, so something of, of an x of some sort. Our solution that we're looking for is where they intersect. What we're looking for with these is an x and a y value that are the same to both, and the point that's the same to both is where they intersect. Both of them would have the point negative two, or yeah, negative two, zero. If we have the second kind, which is no solution, this means on Alex, they call it inconsistent. So an inconsistent system means it never intersects. The only lines that will never intersect are parallel lines. So you would have two parallel lines that would never intersect. Since they're not intersecting, there's no solution. There's no common point between the two of them. The third one is that we could have infinitely many solutions. This is called consistent dependent. And what that means is you have the first line right here, and when you graph the second line, you are graphing that line directly on top of the first one. So it's basically the same exact line, which means you have infinitely many solutions because every single point on the line is on both lines. The next type of system we could have is a system of linear equations and quadratic equations. So we could have one solution. If we have one solution, we would have our quadratic, which is a parabola, and then at some point, just at one point, we would have our line that intersects that parabola. So it intersects at just one point. We could have two solutions, so if we had our quadratic equation, our parabola, and our line went through here, now we're intersecting at two spots, one here and one here, which gives us two different solutions. And finally, we could have a no solutions. No solution would be something where maybe we have our line up here and our quadratic that's going this way, where our quadratic will never touch that line. If you have questions on this, let me know. Otherwise, you can move on to the next example.